We're here with our first uh, Android plugin demonstration here. We're just going to run through setting up the Modflix plugin and uh, we're going to show you how easy it is uh, setting up these Android plugins. We're going to try and make all of them as simple as this one. Uh, unfortunately, there's going to be a couple that are uh, a little bit trickier, but uh, we're going to do everything we can to make them as simple as this. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is import the package. And I'm just going to go ahead and find that package in here. Okay, so we got the Modplix package. Import all these wonderful files. And we'll let Unity do its thing. Okay, so we end up with two directories here, and uh, we're going to go with the quick version, which is uh, just dropping a prefab in here. Actually, we'll just use the test scene. So the test scene consists of the Modplix uh, Android banner prefab and the Modplix Android manager, and that's it. There's really nothing else to it. If we play it, you'll see that uh, there's uh, not going to be anything happening there, but uh, that's to be expected because we need to be running on the device for this to do anything. So with mob clicks, uh, and uh, this actually also has uh, add mob support as well, there, uh, there is a little preset up you have to do in here. And uh, it, it's real simple. So we're just going to go ahead and, uh, and I'm going to open up this file manifest.xml. Okay, so let's get that on screen. Okay, so all you need to do in manifest.xml is uh, stick your AdMob publisher ID if you're going to use AdMob in here. So you would just put it in here. And for ModPlix, you'll put your application ID here. So once you've done that, you just save the file. And what we put together here is a little script in the Prime 31 menu where you can generate the Android manifest.xml file for you. So once you do that, you get a little pop-up message, and you'll see that there's now a Android Manifest XML file in here, and we'll just take a quick look at it. And it's uh, it's pretty basic. It'll take the default Unity uh, uh, Android Manifest XML, and it's just going to inject in the stuff required for the Mob Clicks full screen ads. It'll inject your application ID, your publisher ID, and it also injects the required permissions. So once you've uh, gone and done that, you're done. You can just do a file, build and run, add the current scene. And off you go. That'll install on your device. And just like that, you've got your, uh, your mob clicks and add mob ads piped through there. Oh, except we have to set the bundle out down. Always forget to do that. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, so now we'll build and run. And this will compile up, and that's all it takes. And uh, that's actually a couple more steps than, uh, than most of our plugins. Now, usually you just import the package and drop a prefab in with these, but uh, Due to the way that mob clicks and uh, add mob work, there's uh, the extra step of generating the Android manifest, and uh, we're going to try and build tools for, you know, little scripts for everything. So hopefully uh, there won't be, uh, you know, much manual compiling going on. We'll try and keep everything up there in the Prime 31 menu. All right, so this is uh, pushing onto my device right now, and it is up and running. Got the Powered by Unity screen. You can't see it, but I can. And it uh, usually takes about 10 seconds or so. And we got an ad. Done deal. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks for watching.